Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live at Donnie Vultures with Jerry Haas. Tonight we got actor artist Richard Carroll Jr. A ladies arm wrestling demo with champ China Loca. And the performance by major entertainer Mike H. And now, your host, Jerry Hyde. Hey, how's everybody doing? Oh man, it's been a little while, been a little while. We haven't, we haven't done a show in here um, in a few months. Uh, big problem, uh, sewage backup. A lot of sewage backup. Got a lot of it out now. A uh, little bit left, got most of it. But I'll tell you what, for the most part, I like this neighborhood. We're over here in uh, East Williamsburg, I believe they call it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bushwhack, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it over here is that the, the, the music and the art is kind of crappy, and the food. Hey. Um, <laughs> like, I was at uh, this place just around the corner the other day, the uh, the Acheron, I think they call it. You guys been there? No. All right. no. Uh, yes, you have. Yeah. Um, and they had, they had like, a, I guess, some of that death metal. Right. And, uh, well, it wasn't, I mean, I'm not an aficionado. It wasn't really death. It was, like, kind of, like, you know, noise tech with a little bit of doom and sludge mixed in. Okay, you know, okay. it was more like that, I would say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Doom. But uh, we all, you know, we call it black metal, death metal. Uh -huh. It's it's a blanket term. But what I found uh, interesting there was, uh, you know, the crowd. A bunch of guys from around here, I suppose. Maybe a couple stops away. But, uh, you yeah, know, they got the beards and the glasses and, you know, kind of shaggy and, uh, you know, What's uh? <laughs> let's zip it. Let's zip it, everybody in the crowd. Um, I think it will. I think it will. Um, Jeff, what's that beer you told me they like? Pabst. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pe no, not Pepto Bismol. It's not Pepto Bismol. You crazy? You crazy? The beer. Um, anyway. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They all drink it, and they got uh. Well, they got the skinny jeans, right? Everybody knows them from the skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. I had an appointment over in uh, Park Slope a couple days ago. You know what they got over there? Skinny khakis. You believe that? Some skinny khakis going on over there. Crazy stuff, man. Things are really moving along. I like to see that. I like to see that. But you're at the show, and you know, there's all these guys, and they're like, you know, it's just they're trying to get into it, but it, it sucks, man. It's bad music. You know, and it's loud, and it hurts. But people are there, and they, they, they think they can like it. Damien. And uh, and they're just like, you know, this, this is how they're doing. Like, you know, you know, they really like it. They don't bring the earplugs. Not smart enough. I mean, just, you know, be cool, you know. And listen to the music that's made for you. I mean, that music's clearly made for, you know, Norwegians and Mexicans. Am I right? right. You know? And teenagers. Let's zip it. <laughs> Um, I'm glad everyone's having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. And I think we're going to bring up our first guest at this point. All right, let's if uh, Damien will let us. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to bring him up right now. This guy, uh, I've been into his stuff for a while. I've seen some of his stuff upstairs at the Mingler. We'll show you some more stuff. Uh, he's a cool painter. Also acts and doormans. And uh, I think he knows how to fight. Let's talk to him, man. Richard Carroll Jr., come on up. Here we go. Here's that music. There's the music. That's your mic right there, buddy. All right. He's a little quiet. There we go. There we go. What's up, man? How you doing? Turn it back to me already. My goodness. My goodness. It's tight stage. I understand. Why don't you bring it in? Bring it in right over here. Keep it close. How we look, Jeff? Is this a good shot? That a good shot, Jeff? Oh, yeah. All right. Hey. Hey, Richard. How you doing, bro? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, um, so, uh, you know, I've known you for a little while, but um, these people might not know you. I wouldn't, I don't know why. You're, you're everywhere, right? I mean, you, 
you're acting, you're painting, you you got boxing lessons going on and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a little crazy, so I got to keep busy, got to keep active. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff going okay. on internally. Internally? Well, let's get into that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> is that that's, that's what keeps you pushing you in different directions? Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. yeah. I, I'm, all right. I'm exploring. Okay, wow. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not... You know, I used to sing in a Don Henley cover band. Okay. But um, other than that, like, you know, I never had any artistic urges. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, I understand you guys are pretty cool, you know? Where it's like, you got this stuff inside you, you got to get out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, like, what, what, where do you think you get that out the best? With the painting or the, the acting or... That's funny. That's a question I've been asking myself lately. Yeah, I'm asking as well. <laughs> and, uh... They're both different versions of the same thing for me. Okay, okay. Uh, you start with a blank sheet, and you just create. Same thing with the acting. Yeah. You start. Well, you don't start with a blank sheet there as much, right? You have a script or something? Well, you start with a blank person. Mm -hmm. You have to add everything to make the character come to life. Right on. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that. pretty much the same thing to me. I like the way you put that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm feel, I, I see it. I see yeah, it. I see it. I like. I like that. Okay. It's yeah. It's like me with the Henley covers, kind of. The Henley covers. Yeah, Don Henley. Okay. You know him? No, I'm sorry. Come on. Yeah, hey, I'm terrible. With the that. Eagles. Okay, I know the Eagles. Yeah. yeah. Drumming, singing. Okay. Come on, can you do that? Sing us one. I can drum a little bit. Let's zip it. A little bit. <laughs> you can drum a little? Yeah. Singing. All right. Not so much. All right. Um. That, do, you, do you sing and dance too, or is you got to get enough on your plate there? Nah, I'm, I'm good with what I have. Yeah, so you wouldn't do a musical? Nah, nah, nah. nah. No, not even if. Uh... I'm not happy enough. For what about Spider Man? They call you for that Spider Man? <laughs> no, I'm not happy enough for musical. Okay. Broadway. And, I see. You know. Uh, so, what, what's your favorite kind of character to play? I don't mean to interrupt. Dark. Yeah. yeah. Just keep it close. I'm not sure what the sound is like. Dark. Keep it close. Very dark. Yeah. I like dark things. I see. Alright. And uh um, there's, there's more uh I don't know, for me there's more realism when you when you attack somebody's dark side. Oh man, the world is dark. Yeah. Yeah. And people try to hide that so keeps it real. When yes. you bring it out it's more interesting. Indeed, indeed. All right. Well, um that's cool, man. That's Thank cool. You. And uh, you know, I I've, I've known about your paintings for a while. And I'd like to show some of these people. Um Yeah, you were one of my first fans, actually. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have any actually. Well, yeah, I, was, I mean, I got some, I got some good deals. Got some good deals on some early ones, you know. But you, uh, you've been doing a bunch of shows since then, right? You're yeah. Showing around town and stuff. Yeah, it's been picking up pretty nice. All right. I had a bunch of gallery yeah. shows last year, so. Yeah, bro. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna show a couple of your paintings if you don't mind. You can just talk about what the uh, inspiration was. It might take a minute. It looks like we're in a weird part that we weren't supposed to be in. <laughs> this DVD. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, might be coming back now. Is it may play? Yeah, there, there's one right there. there what do you think about that? What, what what's going on there? Uh, that's part. Uh, th that's a two piece painting actually, and that's called Gordo lights it up. We only got the one. Is that a fault of our interns or? Uh, it's probably a fault of mine. Oh. <laughs> All right, this one I like a lot. There, what's going on there? Yeah, that's called the doorman. Yeah, it's kind of like a self portrait. That's pretty spooky. Is it yeah. water? No, Let's that's zip a... it. You're not doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> there like zipping happening. Okay? No, there's not enough zipping. That's what's going on. <laughs> Let's get to it. Come on. You guys ever seen a TV show? For Christ's sake. What about this? Respect the artist. Yeah, this 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 is called Crimson Tide. You know, I make the bodies, the the breasts, and the asses, and all. Oh, can I say ass? <laughs> All right. I mean, we are Let's not go any further, okay? We're underground, though, right? Ass is okay. But let's not go any further. <laughs> I try to make them, you know, supremely bloated yeah. to show how the, the society is really uh, interested in excess. Oh, okay, okay. You know, how that's wow. a big thing. You look at the reality shows, you look at all the plastic surgery, you look at all the greed as far as money and food and things like that. So yeah, when I make my people, I try to make them look like they brought into that whole concept. I see. Excess. I see, but I noticed you didn't do that in your self-portrait. No, because I don't buy into that. Yeah, all right, cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs>
right, man. Well, hey, man, I wish you, you're working on any uh, acting stuff now or any, anything coming out soon? Or? Yeah, I did two fall. Uh, I did two movies in the fall, and I have another one coming up that I'm shooting in the summer. So, you want to drop the names on those or it's too soon? Uh, <laughs> one uh, that I did in the fall was called uh, Reverse Cowgirl. And I play a painter. Woo! And I play I a painter. I don't know what that means. I, know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I play a painter who's uh, dating a, a powerful art dealer and she's also a lesbian and she has a husband. And uh, it's about... Man. It's about the reversal of power. That's why it's called reverse cowboy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. It's not a porno. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> come on. I'm like a porno with stuff here. Come on. Well, and that's cool. Another one I did was a kickboxing movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You need special training for that? Or you already had it in here? No, I've been doing MMA for about four or five years. No kidding, no kidding. You know we got ladies arm wrestling on next. Maybe you can... Nah, I heard that. You can show them what's up a little bit. Uh, I'm a little scared of arm wrestling. <laughs> Take a little... What's that movie called? Like yourself. Arm wrestling. Let's I can. zip it. Arm wrestling. I can't use other parts of my body, so you know I'm a little nervous with that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah and, you know, I'm always keeping it moving, yeah. trying to see what happens next. All right, guys. Keep an eye on this fella. Yeah. Richard Woo. Carroll Jr. Thanks for coming by, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No music necessary. Just let him go. Let him go. That's how he does it. There he does it.